Hello. It is house tour time. I am so upset I didn't get a speed build for this because I really do like how it looks. Um, so yeah, I put the little concrete so that it'll match. I got the sand sign from Debug. So this is the outside, which you've already seen. Put little bikes up and let them on the fence. I think that's fun. Um, I used a hedge here and I was planning on using it all across because I don't like that I like the there's grass here but I can't put a fence up onto the edge but having a hedge by the pool was sort of uh, no so fence by the pool hedge little art area little rest area plants yeah okay so we have two front doors because it's made to look like these two other ones that are like, I mean, they're just set dressing, but like it's a shop and then apartments, presumably. Um, so it's made to look like that. So there's two entrances. But that's fine. That's fine. So if you walk through the, I consider this the front door. I've decided that this is the front door. If you walk through here, maybe I should do this in tab. You, um, that looks so funky. Um, you enter, and here we have like hallway stuff, you know, like umbrellas, water bottle. It's magazines and bills, but I like to think of it as mail that you've just brought in some wet wipes because like kids play outside and get dirt on things hanging stuff a little little guy that you can like sit on when you tie your shoes then there's the stairs bathroom door back there toys height thing here's the living room um with many a chair are you getting kind of dizzy? Because I am. Um, so, living room. TV. Bookshelves. I had to fill them with so much stuff to make them look not like the same bookshelf four times. And I don't think I fully got it. Because, like, these, there's too many of them. You can see them too many times. Um, but I tried. I'm sorry if you could just hear me swallow my spit there. Oh, I also forgot to remove this. <laughs> I used this um, shelf here to help slot things to the top. Well, in theory, because it didn't really work. But there's like random old stuff up there. Is the idea. Um, I quite like the shelves. They're not quite what I wanted, but I like them. Little plant, little thing. Uh, then we have door number two, the bar, kids thingy, the kitchen that I forgot to replace the tile in. I'm doing tours is good for me because uh, then I realize the mistakes I've made. game is so slow when recording these last few days and I don't know why but yeah the kitchen I like this kitchen again the size down towel like it's not a towel it's a curtain but I sized it down to be a towel again which I really like this this mug shelf favorite thing absolutely my favorite thing um and then here we have a little curtain. And in here is a baby room. So we have bassinet, crib, toddler bed. I really like putting these pillows on. Uh, but when they sleep, they're gone. The toddlers disappear. Little stars, baby prints, potty, plaything, toy. 
this isn't like anyone's room it's just sort of like where the babies are and the idea is that like the babies can be here while the adults are doing stuff on this floor and the ones that aren't like old enough to walk upstairs will be here instead of being in their own room upstairs and here's grandma's room grandma has some pictures of grandma and her wife and their kids Ah, this hard painting thing. A pretty nice view of the mountain and like whatever cities across the sea there. Ah! And a little sink. And then a little bathroom. That's the maid. Um. Yeah, I feel like grandma needed like a little bathroom but i already already like built the shape of the house so i couldn't really figure out how to place an ensuite so it became this can i yeah moving through the kitchen we have the dining room with fish on it which i was on the fence about but like this family married into the Robles family and they're like an old fishing family so I feel like it should be there little fruit ball pictures ah oh my god there's no way to do this nicely I'm so sorry well, maybe there is I'm just bad at it then we got the open doors into the pool because it's almost June and I want the summer vibes. Hi, chair. Baby pictures of this generation, like the kids. No. Last, these two are Mars, I think. And this is, uh, ah, Mars grandparents. And then through here we have an office. Wee! A little tiny office. I'm I can't get pictures down there. Uh but yeah. Computer, focus lamp, keepsake box, work stuff, kids' drawings. I placed these before I changed the wallpaper. And honestly I can't be asked to fix it. Family picture wall. I really like the family picture wall. It's not my best family picture wall, but I really like family picture walls. Um, and then over here we have the bathroom. And you might notice that this door is not the same color as... Oh, there's no door there. Well, it's not the same color as the other doors in the house. That's because the bathrooms are all in a different color and with little lights on them. So that... Cause I don't know about you, but when I was a kid visiting people's houses and they were like, oh, just go to, you, and I needed a bathroom and they were like, oh, it's just down the hall. Terrifying. Terrifying. But if they said, oh, it's a darker gray door down the hall, much easier job. And also the lights are here. So that like, if you're, you know, a toddler and you're sleeping in, in that room over there for the little ones, or maybe you had a nightmare and you're sleeping in grandma's bed. Or maybe you fell asleep while watching TV and now it's nighttime and it's dark and you have to pee. Little light. You you just follow the stars and then you can go pee. It's not scary. There's lights, you know? And then we have a big bathroom with um changing station, toilet. Oh, we're in the trios. <laughs> Bathtub. Oh, it's I need to... Oh, that looks kinda that's not oh kind of weird to have that wall there instead of the glass one but ah, it's fine it's fine it's fine and then upstairs we have the second floor i put this like little thing here and a lamp in my mind this is like a shelf where they put sort of random stuff that they don't use that often but they might need to have um little plants 
chess, paint. This is Mecca's room. This is the bathroom. This is Sul's room. Then through here is the parents' room. So Mars and Rosa. Uh, their bathroom. Little workout area. I put a sink there so that like you can f fill up your water bottle. Maybe put some cold water on a piece of cloth and like calm down when you get hot and sweaty um you know stuff and then up here is the the, the ultimate kids floor this is your's room uh this is venus's room this is Jupiter's? I think this is Jupiter's room. Jupiter's not born yet, so it's fine. This is Saturn's room. I tried to fill it with circles. Neptune. No, Uranus, sorry. This is Uranus's room. And this is Neptune's room. And they all have like a skill object. Piano. This thing. Um well not a skill object. This the the, the this place that is uh one of the like reward trait parenthood things. Castle, science, violin. And then here we have Barfi currently covered up by a school project. And here we have that creativity table so that they can all, you know, learn something and sort of have a skill that's theirs. Uh, and I'll switch out the kid skills when they age up for teen skills like Blurfy and the creativity table and such. They'll go when they age up. And that's the plan. I haven't decorated the treehouse. I always forget to do that. But I did add one starlight. I wanted to light up the back here, but then I thought Mars is an astronaut and super into space. And I think he would want his backyard to be dark to avoid light pollution so that he can look at the stars very clearly. Um, we have the little telescope, a little sitting area with a bird bath. Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know what else there would be to show you. This is the house in San Sequoia. Yeah. Poggers, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.